Hey there everyone, I thought I would give a quick demo of the progress we've been making with the offline library feature in our Android app. Uh, if you recall, the offline library is a feature that lets you access Wikipedia content when you're completely offline. And this is done by downloading a large subset of Wikipedia, or what we call a pack of articles. But you download it while you're still online so that you'll have them available when you're offline, whether you can put your phone into airplane mode or just if your connection drops out randomly for whatever reason, you could be passing through a tunnel or camping in the woods, anything like that. Anyway, let's launch the app and I'm greeted by this onboarding card in our feed talking about the offline library. So let's find out more about it. And we have some more tutorial screens about what the offline library is and all of its benefits. Okay. So I've already gone ahead and downloaded a couple of article packs because it does take a little while to download them, but supposing I didn't have any yet, we can go to add to my offline library, and here we have this big list of possible article packs for you to download. And this list is still TBD, we're still researching what kinds of packs or what kinds of gradations of content would be best to offer to our users. Um, but right now we put a pretty wide spectrum of the type of content you can download. So you can get pretty much the full Wikipedia up here to uh, there's Wikipedia with no pictures. Uh, down here we have the top 45,000 articles from Wikipedia, which by the way, this is a much more manageable download. And it's actually a pretty good coverage of a lot of the topics on Wikipedia. I like this one quite a bit. But you can also have packs of specific wiki projects, like here's Wiki Project Medicine. So all articles relating to medicine. And of course, different languages. So up here we have English, and then there's German, and Spanish, French, and so on. And in case you're wondering, these are actually bundles that are built by Kiwix. So right now, our app is directly compatible with Zim files that are offered by Kiwix. We're just providing this, uh, our own interface here to let you download them and use them. So you can click on any one of these and tap the download button and it'll start downloading in the background for you. But let me just go back here. So what does it mean? What does it mean when you've got an article pack downloaded? Let's say you've finished downloading one of these things, and then what? Well, then you can go back and you can use the app as you normally would. You can pretty much forget that you've got the offline pack downloaded. So right now we're still online and we can be browsing articles. Let me just click a couple of links here. Okay, but now, suppose I lose my internet connection. Let me just disable my Wi-Fi here. Okay, so now I'm offline, but I'm still reading this article. Um, and then let's say I click a link. Okay, and the link gets loaded because this article is part of my offline library. And now I'm reading this from my offline pack. Um, and I can click any of the links here and continue my reading uninterrupted. And as long as the link that I click is present in the offline library, it'll just load seamlessly. And so other parts of the app will also work when you're offline because of the offline library. We can do a, a random article. That's a random article from one of the content packs. Uh, we can go up here to search. We can search and the search results are coming from the offline library. Uh, okay, let me just go back again for a second here. And let me go back to the offline library. So notice once again that I've got two packs downloaded. And you can actually download multiple packs and they will work together seamlessly. So you can see here I've got the top 45,000 pack and I've got the Wiki Project Medicine pack. Um, so let's say I go here and I search for Picasso, okay? So this is probably going to come from the top 45,000 
pack. But then, if I search for sarcoidosis, that's probably going to come from the Wiki Project Medicine pack. Um, but really, it doesn't matter. As long as you've got those packs downloaded, they'll just be available, and you don't need to worry about it again. Um, so yeah, like I was saying, we're still conducting research on what types of article packs we're, that are going to make the most sense for us to offer, because obviously these download sizes can be a little intimidating, so it'll be a balance between a manageable download size and the best possible representation of the content that the user is going to need. And there's also more logistical stuff like where these things are going to be hosted on the web and who's going to be responsible for creating them and stuff like that. Um, and by the way, let me just go back to another random article here. I'm still offline, but the moment we go back online, let's wait for this to go back online, if we click a link in an article and we're online, this goes back to the online version of the article and we're back online and that's it. Totally seamless. So anyway, um, it'll be a little while longer before we actually make this available to our beta audience while we're still conducting this research. But until then, this is where we're at. Okay, thanks for watching.